Hi, Kelly McIntyre here from Milton Today TV. Well, we're blowing off a little hot steam. We are celebrating 50 years for Steam Era. We're going to be covering the parade right down Main Street. Then we're going to be coming. There's opening ceremonies. We're going to have some interviews with some of the owners here of some of these fabulous historical steam engines and get a little history lesson, a few stories, maybe something to eat, some entertainment, and more. So we're covering this event today for Milton Today TV. I'm Kelly McIntyre. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a moment. Well, the parade is underway, and we're heading up Maine. We have. Uh, Mr. Kranz, we've got Lisa Raid in the back seat. We've got Jean up here in the front and Brad behind the, the helm here. We're going to uh, blow up a little steam and head up me. <laughs> How significant 50 years. Mr. Kranz, you said you haven't missed a year. No, I haven't that past 50 years. And of course, you know, right now, Lisa, we're going down through the old historic downtown part of uh, Milton. And, and of course, you can hear the whistles and the horns going there. And that really does bring back memories. And of course, you can see some of the people such as out in that shop there. We'll get them to do a little wave in some Dressed of the period uh, costumes out nice. there. Isn't that just that great? great? As to how <laughs> some of the uh, people do participate here on Main Street. And of course, look, Jean McLaughlin, who's one of the organizers here as well. She's in that garb of many, many years ago as well. <laughs> well, Mr. Krantz, take us down memory lane. How has the face of this Main Street changed? I mean, people say for the better, but there was such a charm back, you know, 50 years ago as well. Well, a lot of the old Main Street has uh, remained the same because there is a historic uh, uh, designation to a lot of it here. And of course, we try to main that, maintain that because if you don't know where you've been, there's a good chance you won't know where you're at. You sure as heck won't know where you're going. So history is a big part of it. That's what we're doing and preserving a lot of it here today. Oh, great. Now, Brad, can I ask you a little bit about these, the steam whistles we're hearing? Give us, uh, tell us what that is. Well, those are whistles of various sizes, which give you the various tones from the steam engines. And they are used to start the work days, stop the lunch, stop for lunch hour, start it again, and uh, retire for the evening. And, and actually, it would be used as an emergency whistle, too, I would think. That if there was a problem somewhere, the whistle would go off. Now, Gene, take us, a, there's so much to putting this. This is the 50th anniversary of this year. Tell us a little bit about behind the scenes. We're going up to the fairgrounds, but how much prep was involved in putting this together this year? We start at the day <laughs> steam air is over this year. We start for the coming year. And so this particular parade started out the day after steam air last year. And it's all, Steam Air always takes place on Labor Day weekend every year for the fifth, last 50 years, and I'm hoping it will continue for the next 50 years. Mr. Kranz, we're winding back into the, the fairgrounds here. Look, we've got uh, Troy's over here on the side. The food's smelling good. <laughs> well, you know, look, right in front of us as well, uh, Kelly, is a trading post. And, of course, if anybody oh, ever no. wanted anything, that really is a place to go. Because if you think you uh, need it, you haven't got it, right over even there. Even if you don't need it, as Brad yeah, says. Don't right. need it. That's if you a want place it. to go. They've got everything over there. Need so has nothing to do that's with just, it. That's just some of the many things that you'll see here at uh, Steam Air here. Once again, I'd like to say thank you very much to Lisa Raitt. Ted Chudley and his lovely wife Sandy, who are just having a Troy's Diner hot dog, <laughs> uh, to uh, Regional Chair Gary Carr, the Chair of Region of Halton, and uh, of course to our very own Mayor Gordon Krantz. Thank you so very, very much for being part of our festivities on this 50th anniversary of Steam Era, and as well in supporting us all during the year at every beck and call. If I, any call to your office, you always rise forth and thank you to every one of you.
And this very simply reads the town of Milton. Its council and citizens are pleased to express congratulations to the Ontario Steam and Antique Preservers Association, better known as Steam Era, on the occasion of their 50th annual Steam Era and for demonstrating long-term commitment to preserving and promoting Ontario's rural heritage. Appropriately signed and sealed by seal the corporation of the town of Milton and presented this 4th day of September 2010. To all of you, thank you very much, Mr. President. This is a Hume tractor built in Hume, Illinois in 1916. It is the only one of its kind known left to exist. We found it 50 miles north of Rainy River, Ontario, about 1,400 miles from here. We brought it home in 92 and spent about 10 years restoring it. It was a basket case of all basket cases. Well, this is a Minneapolis tractor, uh, four-cylinder cross motor, built in Minneapolis, Minnesota in 1917 for the western, for the western plowing, thrashing, and that's where it spent all its life. Uh, it was discarded or abandoned, you might say, in the Red River Valley area, and we resurrected it out of there and brought it home in 1967. And we've got a, what's this, a, a, a rum, how do you pronounce this, Mr. Hume, Rumley? Rumley. Rumley? Rumley was made. All Rumleys were made in Laporte, Indiana. They started there about 1911 making gas tractors and they ran till about 1931. This is one of the last runs. And it was built in Laporte, Indiana and shipped to Toronto because Alice Chalmers bought out Rumley, and Rumley, Alice Chalmers didn't want to sell Rumley tractors, they wanted to sell Alice Chalmers tractors. So they sent all the Rumleys they could find to Canada, get rid of them. Get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> covering the 50th anniversary of Steam Era. And we've been preserving the past with these beautiful machines. We're enjoying the present, but we're really looking forward to the future. And we didn't let a little rain stop us. We didn't let a little cold stop us. We are Milton Today TV, and we had a blast. We met some great people, great parade, great food, great machines, as you can see. And we're going to leave it there. Kelly McIntyre, only on Milton Today TV.